All right, so for foiling, we need to expand this, right? X plus Y over 2 squared, squared would be X plus Y over 2 times X plus Y over 2. So biggest mistake is picking something like C, right? And thinking um, um, and forgetting that you're going to have these middle terms, right? But it's not just X. It's not like X squared plus Y over 2 squared, right? You're going to have these middle terms, the outers and the inners, right? So immediately you can get rid of C and D, right? So now to FOIL it, we would do X times X, which is X squared, plus X times Y over 2 would be XY over 2, plus another XY over 2, plus Y times Y is Y squared, right? These last terms, Y squared, over 2 times 2, two squared is 4, right? So now we combine our middle terms, and we'd have X squared plus 2XYs over 2, right? We have one here, and then one here, and then plus Y squared over 4, right? And then this would cancel out, and you just get x squared plus xy plus y squared over 4. We'd be answer choice A. Another thing you could do is pick numbers for this. Let's call x1 and y2. If x is 1 and y is 2, I'm going to get 1 plus 2 over 2 squared, which is going to be 1 plus 1 squared, which would be 2 squared, which would be 4. Now, if I plug x and y into my correct equation, it should also tell me that it equals 4, right? Because it's equivalent to it, right? Which would give me x squared, which would be 1 squared, plus x times y, which would be 1 times 2, which would be 2, plus 2 squared, right? 2 squared over 4, which would just be all, which would be 1, so I'd get 1 plus 2 plus 1, and 1 plus 2 plus 1 would equal 4, and that would match up. So answer choice A.